What's up, y'all? It's Marlo, man. So, look, man. Check this out, man. <laughs> Here we go, man. Look, check this out, man. I just had to do this video because, man, I ran across this nigga video. I just knew it was some Earl Spence hate. You feel me? <laughs> if you look at the title, the nigga say, Earl Spence Jr., a.k.a. Keith Thurman Jr. <laughs> and I look, so I was like, man, let me see what the fuck this goofy ass nigga talking about, man. Cause this dude, man, this dude go by the name of Goodfellow Sports, man. And this is a nigga that don't like a fighter because of another nigga. You feel me? Um, this nigga, this shit hard. This shit all stemmed from a long time ago. If y'all don't know, man. See, one thing y'all probably don't know about me is I've been along, I've been around the boss community for a long time and i've been on youtube for years and years and uh, i'm talking before the uh, right when the ld ldbc was started and and before trail boxing talk ever came to be and when it was just the smoke city mile cast and everybody was linking up on wednesdays and shit like that and i was around during them times all around and this nigga used to be with um uh, the LDBC, but this nigga wanted to be like a little rebel or something, I guess. I don't fucking know. But the nigga don't like Black Fife fan, but his way of getting that Black Fife fan instead of going that Black Fife fan is going that Earl Smith Jr., which is just some whole other gay, another level of gay shit. Like, the shit's so gay, bro. I, I just don't understand, bro. But I just want to play a little bit of this nigga video so y'all can see the type of lame ass shit I'm talking about with this dude. I just don't know what's wrong with him, man. Check this out. <laughs> you ever seen a pit bull run from a chihuahua? That's what you looking like. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what you looking like. All that, all that tough talk you was talking, man, you was a suburban boy, man. You ain't cut like this, man. You somebody... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did hear this dude, man. He, he he just called Earl Spence a suburban boy. And this ain't his first time calling him that. And I always hear talks about motherfuckers saying Earl Spence from the suburbs. Or, or I heard this nigga talking about how Earl Spence ain't from the hood. And this and this and that. Like he trying to glorify the hood when this nigga ain't even from the hood. You feel me? But uh, my thing is with this chump, man. Who the fuck? Said it's cool to be from the hood, my nigga. You feel me? Why do some shit you ain't got to do? Why put yourself in a position you ain't got to do? This nigga is Earl Spence is a whole boxer. He box, nigga. He got a career, nigga. <laughs> Why the fuck would he want to be on the street with some lame-ass niggas who ain't doing shit but linking up, trying to match and, 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 and just lame shit? Niggas be rats and, and telling all these niggas, Come on, stop glorifying. You don't know nothing about this shit. I can tell you don't. Because when I listen to you, you sound goofy. You sound stupid. You don't know what you're talking about, little nigga. You a, you a little nigga. You a little nigga, little nigga. Come on, man. Stop it, bro. In football, that but let me let me go back. See, I heard it again. Like, my nigga, what does the street got to do with these niggas boxing? Why you got so much hate in your heart for buddy? I don't understand. All that, all that tough talk you was talking, man. You was a suburban boy, man. You ain't cut like this, man. You somebody <laughs> in football that wasn't good in football, couldn't hack it. Now look at you now. On top of you the made, boxing you, world. You finally made some money. Look at he said, look at you now. He on top of the boxing world. <laughs> he said you ain't making it football, but you making more than the football players. Earl Smith is making more than football players, nigga. Football players ain't, ain't, ain't making that much paper. What are you talking about, Trump? Now you don't want to fight the best. You running from a lightweight, bro. You you was a pussy cat running from a mouse. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> That's what you is, bro. That's what you looking funny in these streets, man. We don't care about that accident. You said I'm the king of forty seven. No tune ups, no can of tune up fish. That that you said. If you said I need a tune up, we all would have understood. Even though that was a self inflicted wound, what you did. But we all make mistakes. We're not holding it against you. <laughs> look, look at but you're going to sit here and drag a fire. You've been in the weight class almost your entire career. You came down from 54. <laughs> you you masquerading at, at 47. You trying to milk 47. And you running from a dude that had moved up twice? I don't care how long you've been pro. Eight years since 
whatever it was, 10, 12, 13 years, 14, I don't care what it is. When you were you the king of 47, how the king duck his smoke? <laughs> like I said the other day, when a black panther got challenged, he had to accept the challenge to, to, to keep his throne. If you the king. Let me tell you something about this nigga, man. I just don't ain't got no respect for him. I have more because I know what it's all about. Like I said, I've been around from the jump. I have more respect for this nigga if he was to go at the niggas he don't like instead of going at another nigga that they like. You feel me? It's just some weird gay shit. It's gay. You feel me? Look, real niggas don't move like that. You lame as fuck. You feel me? But this the nigga y'all listen to. This the nigga y'all sub to. And it's the nigga y'all be agreeing with. And all in the nigga comment session. And this who y'all fuck with. Like, in my eyes, it ain't that serious. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? In my eyes, it ain't that serious. But it is what it is, man. Um, just another lame. You feel me? I'm going to start exposing more of these little lame mad niggas I be seeing on YouTube. You feel me? Because it's a bunch of their ass. They goofy as fuck. But that's that, man. I'm out. Peace.